Why, good morning, fellow keyboard rangers. This is Mouse Ranger 62, bringing you another car video, specifically the EV. All right, today I'm going to bring you a car that I've not reviewed yet. I do personally own, got it from CarMax, and that is the 19, I'm sorry, the, two, the 2020 Nissan Leaf SL Top Line Plus. Leather, Pro Pilot Assist. Um, 62, uh, 62 kilowatt battery, uh, range of over 200 miles, Bose stereo, the works. I love it. Highly recommend it. Uh, as you know, I've, I bought a lot of cars and returned them to, to CarMax. I hope to keep this one for a while. This is my second week of ownership. I've already taken it all the way up to uh, Naples and back, 400 four mile trip. Use Chatamo chargers for the first time. No problem. Uh, as you know, I'm a college professor and uh, my commute to back and forth to work is like 10 miles. So I don't really drive that much, but I needed something to visit my parents. And I've tried, you know, a couple Teslas. I had a Mercedes, which is great for locally, but it wasn't good for long trips. And uh, I had the um, uh, Ford Mach-E. Uh, don't, highly do not recommend that car. Fit and finish was good, but had problems with the car play, so stay away from it. Um, this car has CarPlay, has Android Auto. I've been using CarPlay, but I haven't tested, excuse me, I have Android Auto with it. I'm gonna do that today. Um, it's about the same size as Mercedes, so I like the size. The seats fold down. Now, when the seats fold down, there's like a huge trunk, you know? So about two feet deep. So what I've done is um, Nissan has a uh, organizer, like tub, two compartments and if you're interested in buying one make sure you buy one for the model year uh, 2018 and above for the second gen for the first gen it's uh, two, 2011 through 2017, 2017. and um, we've got about 200 bucks and what it does is it brings the floor level to when you put the seats down now I got the Bose amp in the back so what I did is I took uh, couple truck liners and I cut them and so that they're uh, flush with, with the back of the seats so if I have to put cargo in there I mean it's pretty much a straight pass through and it gives me a foot of extra storage in these two tubs which of course you know putting all kinds of stuff in there you know like a, a you know fix a flat a, a tile inflator a, a one of those um, uh, AC plugs for batteries, all kinds of stuff. So it's really a, a great thing to, to have. Now, um, like I said, I've only owned it for two weeks. Uh, price was right. Knew the thing. This thing cost forty five thousand. Uh, I paid thirty five from CarMax for it. Um, very reasonable price for what you get. I love the one pedal driving. In fact, Nissan's the one that pretty much parented that um, before Tesla. They've sold 500 units, 500,000 units worldwide, and they've had very little fire fires. I think I can count on one hand uh, how many fires they've had over 500 units. Uh, the only downside to it, which has keep me hesitant from buying it, was it does it's got an air cooled battery, you know, instead of the liquid. And I do live in Florida, you know, of course it's black. So the way I'm approaching that, from what I understand. Is that if you do more than one supercharge in a trip, uh, you know the battery, the connection will throttle down to keep the battery cool and it'll take longer to charge. Well, I'm only traveling at a max of 200 miles uh, a day right now, so you know, and so once a month to see my parents. So I don't think that's going to be a, a problem. Um, if not, you know, I'll, I'll come up with another solution, you know, another vehicle. But. I like it for now. I'm interested in the Aria, which is coming out in a year or so ago, in another year or so, as well as the um, um, Chevy Equinox. You know, both are SUVs and they're EVs. So those, I'm looking at both of those possibly as one of my next purchases uh, once they come widely available. And as long as they got one pedal driving, you know, I'm on board for that. So, uh, but for now, it's a great little car. I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a reasonably priced EV, uh, because I'm a technologist, um, I require all the bells and whistles. That's why I got the SL version. There's cheaper versions you can get, less battery, but it checked all my boxes. 
So I would recommend it. Um, that's really all I have to say about it. I'll, if I had more to report, you know, I'll let you guys know. Uh, this is Mouse Ranger 62 out. And remember, make sure you try to save for a rainy day and have a great day. Bye-bye.